We're in Microsoft Word 2016, and I'm going to show you how to do some forms. I went ahead and put in some uh, preset questions here. So if you wanted to create a form, this will save you a little bit of time. I've been to some of the other videos, and they sort of make you sit through creating all this stuff. So I'm just going to cut to the chase and try to uh, get you to create your forms right away. So let's start with uh, would you like to continue? So we're going to insert a checkbox content control so uh, that's the one where we uh, want it right there and if uh, the person wants to check that box then they can right there check it <clears throat> and if we want we could even uh, enter in you know check to uh, check to continue there we go all right, so there's your checkbox. That one's a pretty easy one. Let's go with to what is the date. So if we want to do the date, we go up to the date picker, content control, insert a date content control. So we put that in there. And if we want, we can go ahead and right click on it. And from here, we can uh, do, you know, remove it. We can change the font, you know, paragraph, etc., etc., that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and choose the next one, which is the color. So uh, with the color, we've got a couple different options. We can either do a combo box uh, or a drop down list. So the combo box allows us to um, type in, or allows the user to type in their own thing as well as pick from a drop down list. So let's go ahead and choose the combo box for picking a color. And then for the last one, we've got uh, the uh, drop down list. That's when we, they have to choose a preset. So let's go ahead and highlight the color and we can see uh, some of the different options, the same kind of thing. Let's click on Define. And when we do that, we get the uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary comes up and we can define, use that for uh, dictionary definitions and that kind of thing. Just sort of a fun little side thing in case you wanted to do that. All right, so what we want to do is um, separate that a little bit and we want to go ahead and enter uh, different fields. So before we get to too far, let's go ahead and choose to save this and we're going to save it as a template. So let's choose this PC, we'll choose our desktop and we'll just go ahead and go down to template. So there we go. All right, so now we got that taken care of. Uh, now we want to uh, go in and change some of the fields. So then what we do is go up to the developer tab and click on design mode. And after we click on design mode, you'll see the box changes a little bit and it gives us uh, some new options, such as if we right click in the middle of the area there, we have properties. So uh, we can put in a title if we want, a tag, uh, show as a bounding box, which is the default, start end or none. So let's go ahead and choose an item. So this is a color, so we're gonna do red and then we're going to add blue and then we're going to add of course yellow if you haven't guessed that by now and then we'll go ahead and click OK on that now let's choose an animal we'll do the same thing here we'll go to properties and we'll whoops we'll go ahead and do that down here to the uh, bottom we'll choose a fox we'll choose a dog and we'll choose a cat all right and let's see if we go on the the date we'll go to properties there and we can choose the date style let's just go ahead and stick with the default but there's lots of different options there and we can also click on our checkbox and go to properties as well and uh, we can click the checked symbol we can change that and click the unchecked symbol etc and uh, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll click that one and there we are. So um, let's go ahead and go back to uh, regular mode. And we're going to save that. Very good. And then we're going to close it. And now we're going to open it again. All right, so now we have a checkbox that we can go ahead and check, which I did, and of course I did. It got that cool symbol there, the sum up symbol. Uh, then we want to do a date, so I can click that. It automatically brings up the calendar, so I'll just go ahead and choose a date. Uh, pick a color. We can go ahead and hit the drop down list, and we're going to go ahead and choose red. Pretty awesome. Choose an animal. 
We'll choose a dog. Very good. So um, as you can see, uh, doing these various different forms is very simple to fill out and it has a lot of different customizations. So uh, feel free to play around with that, create your own form, uh, save it as a template when you're done so that way when the uh, person wants to save it, they can save it as a whole new file so it doesn't actually uh, ruin the template that you created.